Hello friends, welcome to the channel Physics by IITians. We are again come with an another interview question, and this question uh, has been asked in IIT Patna interview this year. So, watch this video carefully. The question is: If magnetic monopole exists, what will be the changes in Maxwell equations? So, I I understand. I think that you understand the question. That what will be the changes or modification in the Maxwell equations if their magnetic monopole exists? So we have to know the Maxwell equation first. There are four Maxwell equation: the Gauss law, Faraday law, Gauss's law for magnetics, and Ampere's law or modified Ampere's law. And modification was done by Maxwell. And you have to know the differential form as well as integral form. So the differential form is del dot d equals to rho b. Integral form is surface integral over d dot d s equals to volume integral over rho d b that is equals to q. Faraday's law will become del dot e equals to minus del b del t, and integral form is closed integral over c e dot d l equals to minus surface integral over s del b del t dot d s. Gauss's law of magnetics, magnetics del dot b equals to zero, or integral form will be closed surface integral over b dot d s equals to zero, or Ampere's law differential form is curl of h equals to j plus del t del t, and integral form is closed integral over h dot dl equals to surface integral over j plus del d del t plus in dot ds okay so you have to remember these four equations okay this equation you just remember you can automatically come to these equations using gauss's divergence law or stokes theorem okay now we have to understand the meaning of this four equation let us take first equation gauss's law of electricity so we have certain charge uh, distribution that is q enclosed within this region okay and due to this q in enclosed there will be electric field okay so del dot d equals to del dot e equals to rho by epsilon naught means that this total outward flux is non zero okay if you take the flux of this region so it will be non zero and that means the elect there are some charges within that region Uh, that this is rho that will be uh, given as rho okay and rho is the charge density okay so electric or you can tell it as electric monopole exist now del dot b is zero gauss's law of magnetism what does it mean it means that the electric flux although it is net outward flux in case of electric fields that is non zero but the net outward flux in case of magnetic field that is zero or what does it mean so means if you have a north pole you always have a south pole with the attached to the north pole okay and there the line uh, flux is always closed okay so there is no monopole the third law that is faraday's law of induction that is curl of e equals to minus del b del t means rotation of electric field can give you the time varying magnetic field okay so suppose you have a wire and the current con conducting wire so electrons are rotating electrons are moving so current is generating electric field is generating and that's why you get a magnetic field okay and the fourth law that is the modified ampere's law it is curl of b equals to mu not j plus mu not epsilon not del del t means that the variation of b can give you the very uh, can give you the electric field okay so this is called the displacement current the term mu not if if epsilon not into del del t or d in del d del t okay this term is called as displacement current and this is the conduction current okay so the changing magnetic electric field can give you the change in magnetic field so change in magnetic field can give you change in electric field okay so here you from this diagram you have to understand that this j that is mu not j is due to the conduction current that is current i is flowing so we have a j term and this is a capacitor and within capacitor there is no conduction current there is displacement current and this displacement current is arising due to the change in electric field with respect to time okay and now you have to think about what will be the modification in maxwell's equations if i include magnetic monopole and we all have discussed that the if we move magnet if we move a tiny magnet having a north pole and south pole all as it have it has so it can generate it can generate electric charges 
or if we vary electric field it can generate magnetic field okay so this is our magnetic uh, uh, closed magnetic flux for one for uh, one tiny magnet now you have to understand what should be the law modified law you have to consider the symmetry of nature the laws which we have for the electric fields for the electric charges we have to apply for the magnetic fields and we have to consider the magnetic monopole means there should be magnetic charges also so we have to modify our forces like this way so let us learn it first law is gauss's law for electrostatics so del dot e equals to rho by epsilon naught and it will become del dot e equals to rho e by epsilon naught where rho e we consider it for the charges due to the magnetic monopole or magnetic charges now gauss's law for magnetism del dot b equals to zero without considering man magnetic monopole but if we consider magnetic monopole we have to include the magnetic charge also so it will become del dot b equals to mu naught into rho m now the faraday's law of induction is curl of e plus del b del t equals to zero that is the change in electric field can uh, generate the time varying magnetic field now here curl of e plus del b del t will be equal to minus mu naught into jm where you have to consider the magnetic current okay conduction just like electric field it will generate conduction currents so the magnetic charges also generate conduction current due to those magnetic charges ampere circuit law or modified law will become curl of b this is the our general form that is curl of b minus mu naught epsilon naught del e del t equals to mu naught j and this will become curl of b minus mu naught epsilon naught del e del t equals to mu naught into j e okay this is due to the electric field the conduction current and this is due to the magnetic charges this is due to the electric charges j e and this is due to the magnetic charges okay now what will be the lorentz force equation Lorentz force equation will have to will be also modified for the uh, F equals to you know without considering the magnetic uh, monopole F equals to Q E into E plus Q in E into V cross V. The modified term will be one for the electric charges, another for the magnetic charges. So for the electric charges it will be same that is Q E into E plus V cross V. For the magnetic charges we have to include Q M into B minus V cross E by C square. Okay. friends this is the modified law maxwell's equations and modified lorentz force equation if we include the magnetic monopole so we have to include magnetic charges we have to include magnetic currents okay hopefully you understand today's video if we find this video helpful please like this video comment with your valuable comments and also share with your friends okay thank you